You're thinking of moving to Phoenix, Arizona. You're ready to purchase a house, but you want to avoid all the top mistakes that people usually make. So in this video, I'm going to cover five of the top things that I see happen when people want to purchase a home out here. So stay tuned. Let's go. Hey guys, the first mistake that I see people make when they're purchasing a home out here is not researching the area properly. So one of the main things they do is they get out here and they think, I want to live in Glendale by the stadium where the Super Bowl was. I want to live in Old Town Scottsdale because I want to go out and, you know, get jiggy with it or whatever. Or I want to live in, you know, right by ASU in, in Tempe because that's where all, you know, the action is. Or I want to live in Queen Creek or Buckeye because I want to be removed and I want to have a little bit more privacy, okay? But they get out here, they get to those cities, and suddenly they're like, wait, I'm an hour and a half from work. Okay, never mind. Or, hey, this area looks great, but how is the area at night? Or I don't really like the schools out here. Or maybe I have a home baking business and I'm really far from the specialty store. So these are things you need to consider when you're looking to purchase a home out here. Okay, look at your demographics, look at your crime, look at your entertainment options, look at your drive times, look at your school ratings and all of those good things. All right, you guys, I want to talk I about and this is really, really big. This is very Phoenix specific. It's not understanding and not researching our weather. So we have a lot of one story and two story homes, just like I'm sure the rest of the nation. However, in Phoenix, it gets so, so hot, heat rises. So when you're considering a home, really think about one story versus two story homes. Yes, your second level is going to be hotter. Your air bill is going to be high okay. getting a home that has an older roof or an older air unit. You know, when we get our monsoon storms that comes in and we just had on the news, people's roofs were getting ripped off, right? Cause they were older and had this like mini tornado microburst over there or everyone's air unit goes out in the summer. So if you're not getting it tuned up and you're not getting a home with a better newer air unit and you don't have a home warranty, maybe the previous owner hasn't serviced it. Those are things you need to consider because our weather is a really big factor out here. All right, you guys, the next mistake that I often see people make when purchasing a home out here is not thoroughly reading through the HOA docs. So HOAs are homeowners associations, and they have rules that kind of let you what you can and can't do in the front of your home. So some of the major things I see are, you know, I work with a lot of entrepreneurs, they have their own companies, right? And so their vehicle is wrapped with their logo. So many HOAs out here do not allow having decals or wrapped vehicles in your driveway. So you would have to park that behind your RV gate or in your garage, and sometimes people breeze through the documents and they don't realize that all of a sudden they're getting fined. They have nowhere to park their work van. So that's something you really want to consider. And you guys, some HOAs out here are super chill and super relaxed. And really, if your neighbor tells on you, that's probably when you're going to get a citation. But some of them are very, very strict. There are some that you can only have your Halloween decorations up for a certain amount of days. You aren't allowed to decorate early for the holidays. You can have, you know, birthday balloons out for only 24 hours. They must be removed after. I mean, there are some, you know, you're the colors of your awnings or, you know, your paint color, the landscaping in your front yard. Maybe it has to be desert, can't be grass. Definitely, definitely read your HOA docs. And this is where having a great realtor who will really walk you through this will definitely help. So don't forget, I am Andrea Sheppy. I'm a full-time realtor with HomeSmart out here. I'm on the Valley Solutions team. I am from here, born and raised for 41 years. I've lived, worked, played all over the Valley. So I can definitely help you. You just got to reach out to me, send me a text, uh, an email, call me, leave me a message, find me on social media. I can really help guide you guys through the, the home buying process out here. So anyhow, that was the next item I wanted to talk about. You guys, one of the last things I want to talk about when you are purchasing a home out here in Phoenix, my people who are purchasing new build homes often think new is perfect. Okay. So I see this mistake all the time when I go through with my new home buyers and just because it's new, doesn't mean it's good. It doesn't even mean it's any better than a resale home that's been remodeled from the 1960s. So 
again, just because it's new doesn't mean it's perfect. You want to get your own inspector. You definitely want to do a pre-drywall inspection. There is a shortage of skilled labor force out here pretty much across the country. So all of these, you know, remodeling companies are struggling to find trained and proper help. And so people think, oh, this is a high-end builder. I'm going to be just fine. Everyone they hire, I'm sure is super great. Not really yeah. just because the main, you know, contractor will run the show. He is still hiring independent contractors out to do the work. It doesn't mean that they're skilled all the way around. It just means that they were available to work. Now we have some fantastic and very talented contractors and labor force workers out here. There's so many things that can come up with a new build. You have to make sure that you're really, really researching your builder, that you're asking about the warranties that you, you know, what happens if you don't lock your interest rate and all of a sudden you're priced out of the home because it takes 12 months to build. New build contracts are not meant for you. And with Phoenix being such a huge migration destination, our new builds are doing amazing out here. You guys, right, you guys, another thing I want to talk about that I see people make a mistake when they're purchasing a home out here in Phoenix Metro is not doing a home inspection and specifically not doing a termite inspection. Okay. So the saying out here with termites is you either have them or you're going to get them. Okay. It is so important. Termites just love to eat up our homes out here. Okay. But in general, your home inspection is so important. You know, we had so many bidding wars and now they're coming back because our inventory is low. You, but no matter what, do not go in and waive your home inspection. You need someone to look at your roof, your air unit, your pool, your plumbing, your appliances. I mean, everything, because you don't know what you don't know. Okay. You don't want to move into a home and suddenly didn't have your inspector come out and fill the tub to see if it even sealed. And now you can't take a bath and you were looking to take a nice, you know, relaxing bath after your move. So you definitely want one. It'll save you so much money in the end. Spend the four, five, six hundred dollars, get the inspection, and then you'll know what you're dealing with. And during an inspection period, unless you've put something in the contract, the boilerplate contract, you can back out for anything related to the home. So just remember that you definitely want to get a home inspection and um, definitely, you know, make sure your realtor is not forcing you to waive that. All right. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys found it useful. Again, I'm Andrea Sheppy, a Phoenix native, been here for 41 years, been all over the Valley. I would love to help you navigate the home buying or selling process out here. And I love helping people relocating here and showing you all of the amazing areas and the great amenities that we have to offer. So, all right, guys, see you next time. Whoa.